cute. Oh, I'll be running down. <laughs> so hot dog over there to get my hair done. By the way, morning. How are you all? I hope you're all well. So I got a lot to do. There's a lot to do. I got loads of products I need to sort out, like my makeup session, severely, quickly, automatically. Yeah, when I do that, I might as well put this mask on because this is like a mask, the Cherry Jewel um, from Fenty Beauty. Oh, so satisfying. This is actually really hydrating, perfect for this time because I know a lot of us, our skin is feeling super dehydrated. So I'm just going to put this on while i do some tidying how is your fast going so far mine is going okay i think the first week is the hardest because you're fighting those caffeine withdrawals you're getting used to not drinking and eating but inshallah the second week is easier for all of us i feel more excited to go Therawi as well. I'm not a very anxious person and I'm not really into like group settings but when you're in the zone, when you're praying, just forget everything like listening to the recitation and it ultimately is for the sake of Allah and that's the important part. As I mentioned in my last vlogs, I'm going to put some donation links in the description so you, if you're interested definitely donate if you can where you can as i said donation is a huge part of islam and as muslims we're just very giving people obviously in the month of ramadan the more you donate the more you will get rewarded and that's amazing you know who doesn't want that for themselves stuff sorted i've got like stuff here I need to sort don't judge me okay it's a bit messy it just needs organizing because it's organized but it's not organized do you get what i mean i just need to sort everything out i'll be back when everything's sorted you know i'm just sorting out this electronic drawer and i know we all have one of these drawers so i got this from amazon and it like separates the wires and i can put my plugs batteries and it all fits in very neatly so that's really good i love that my skin is definitely glowing after that mask so i've done most of the cleaning i vacuum i mopped um i put all of the makeup bits and tidy there i have some pr packages there which i'll show you guys and some stuff i ordered as well from h&m i'm just going to quickly prep my filming for tomorrow pr haul let me know if you like to watch these so first i got this argan oil for my hair and it's from this brand marianella allow my dyslexia i don't know it feels very hydrating and thick i think if you have like really long thick hair this will be best for you revolution pro sent me the miracle night serum and this is meant to be it looks like a dupe for a high-end product i don't think they have the same formula but 92 percent People said that their skin look a lot more plant firmer. Looks really interesting. It literally feels like my high end one. Oh, very luxurious. Just gonna. I shouldn't really because I've already applied moisturizer. Yeah, I like that. I prefer serums like this over just wearing hyaluronic acid. This package from Space NK and it's for the new release, the Kosas BB Burst. Kosas is like one of my favorite brands. This is for the tinted gel cream. I've seen loads of people use this. I think I'm gonna be 31, which is medium olive. If this is my shade, so in case you're interested of getting it, you can. Yeah, that 
is definitely my shade that literally melted into the skin it's like tiny bit warm but once I put my concealer and stuff it'll be more than fine so that's 31 medium deep neutral olive I like their stuff because their base products actually have olive undertones which is not really common in high in some high-end and drugstore brands then i got some stuff from clinique um i love it the black honey lipstick they sent me so many stuff they sent me some base products as well i love it the pink honey some bits from h&m i am going away in a couple months and i thought i would get some of their stuff and they have really good modest things right now so if you're gonna get these get these right now because they run out of stock constantly let me try these on and i'll show you guys oh my gosh this is so cute it's perfect for that holiday that i'm thinking of it's bright orange but it has those poofy sleeves and it has like the back detail you can Hopefully you can see that back detail. Looks super cute. And I got it in this very... Is this like a sagey green? I would say it is. I got it in size medium. I'm like an 8 to 10. But honestly, I could have got on away with small. So if you're like similar size to me, I would say go for small. You don't need to go for medium. H&M sizes are really weird. That's why sometimes I size up. Because this size, like eights are like size sixes sometimes and it's just annoying but this is the other one similar to this this is the front of it you see that detail and the back of it and it's really airy and it's going to be amazing for hot country and it's really modest as well that's the important part i can easily cinch it in with a white belt that's what my plan is to do with it but how cute is that let me show you the other piece that i got you ready for this this is the kaftan oh my gosh it doesn't include this part by the way my sleeves but obviously if you're hijabi you will definitely need to have a long sleeve something underneath because this i mean you could pin it here which will avoid like your whole arm showing but if you're not comfortable with this part of your arm showing you definitely need a long sleeve nude top maybe but look how amazing this looks again it's for my holiday i'm really excited to wear this like this is the perfect time to get your holiday stuff because by the time it's summer right everything is out of stock so get this while you can how many layers am I wearing? <laughs> I'm not even joking, guys. Oh. Ah. oh my god! Ready for the next item? I'm already wearing it. It's from Howard Clothing. It has pockets! I'm going to do a TikTok shop video with this. And this hijab, by the way, is from them as well. I certainly wouldn't wear it this way, but I love the quality of it. And I know some people are going to be like, oh, you can get the same in the market. Go get it in the market. It ain't the same. Trust me on that. Like the quality, the way it's sitting is divine. But I love this. Their knitted pieces, they have like white, brown, they have black. I love the sleeve, how it's open, but not like gigantic. It just looks so elegant. And I got mine in 5-2. I can't get over the fact that it has sleeves and I just love how it fits. It's not too hugging and tight because I got something like this from Primark but it was like more of a bodycon dress but this one obviously is modest which you know 1010 like it doesn't look weird on me it looks like my perfect size. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love this. Next thing that I got is from, very random, Iman Active. So this is the swimwear. Again, I'm going away soon. Well, in a couple months, not soon. And I wanted to have swimwear. This is their stuff. Very modest. I will show you in person another day how it looks. Maybe one day when I go swimming or something. And I love how it comes with this pouch. 
so that's the top half and then you get the leggings and for a modest clothing swimming brand they're actually quite affordable i've seen other ones and they go into the hundreds and these ones are around 60 70 pounds so you get the trousers as well and then you get the turban separately and they also have a hijab which i might purchase myself because I prefer the hijab over the turbans. It's wet, like if you went swimming, you could just put it in this pouch. How amazing. This is what I wanted to show you. This is like so innovative and I can't believe other people haven't thought of it. Again, it comes with a pouch. This is their cover up. So you know once you've gone swimming, sometimes the material sticks on you. And again, if you wanna be more comfortable be more modest you need something to cover up like i feel a bit self-conscious myself when i just come out the pool i'm like oh everything's sticking to me and i'm pulling it off this is their cover up look how loose so you don't wear this in the sea otherwise girl you're gonna drown okay don't wear this well is once you come out you can wear it it has a zip so you can easily get into it out of it also if you wanted to change you could easily do that because of how big and loose it is I'm on swim active i absolutely love these pieces and i can't wait for the holiday pics and i know you can't as well cleared i've prayed i need to do my other prayer actually on that note i'll see you guys in a bit bye Blow -blow -blow. We're all gonna go through a wee. My sister in law, brother in law, are here as well, so I'm really excited. We finished Therawi and now we're gonna go around like central and maybe get some food. Yeah, I would want that. And to see the lights because we haven't seen the Ramadan um, lights that they put up in Leicester Square, and it'll be good to see them. And I'll show you guys as well. that's where we are right now for so long i don't know why i've been craving that i got a hot dog we got chips my husband got a burger my sister-in-law and brother-in-law got um they got hot dogs i got like turkey rashes egg cheese i'm salivating love chips the um the hot dog man it's good show it again the front part mm. juicy <laughs> I thought enjoying this. It's like a hot dog over there, and I put mustard and burger sauce and chili sauce. They got onions, turkey rashes. Hmm. I finished it so quickly. Oh, I like it. Without getting the making from yes. It tastes so fake. Guys, if you don't save your last bite, like this samosa, this kebab, this salmon obviously, then you're not eating right. Yeah, you're not eating right. You have to save a bite of everything, take a bite from everything. And that's how you're supposed to eat. Even the lemon. So beautiful, how are you today? Hope your fast is going well. Alhamdulillah, my fast went really well today. I think the second week is going to be so much easier. I'm just like looking back on old footage and I can tell like I was really struggling. And it wasn't like, it's not the food, it's never the food. It's always the water. It's always the water and like having such low energy and a dry mouth. It does not help. Wearing this abaya from Dubai, I'll show you guys how it looks. But I was watching a couple bl vlogs today of people in Dubai or in general in Muslim countries and breaking their fast. And I feel like there's such a total different vibe when you're in a Muslim country. One day I definitely would love the opportunity to maybe even go Umrah and 
like faster there because that would be amazing so today I'm going to Tarawee it's obviously after iftar the other times I had people like come with me I feel like I'm getting suffocated with this I need to take this off again first time, as I was saying this is the first time I'm going officially by myself so I'm a bit nervous but I know what's to come I know the mask and they've seen me a couple of times now so I don't feel as scared as I was the first time I went more enjoyable when you pray with other people it just hits different I think that's where you get the Ramadan feel I feel like especially being at the mosque listening to the khutbah you feel more in touch like you know like when they're explaining the surahs and stuff like that it just hits more the connection so if you haven't ever gone to the mosque to pray i recommend it and don't be afraid everyone's going there to pray like go, go like before esha i would say because that's when it's less packed get yourself together pray esha and then prayers and then you'll be fine you'll be fine i need to run i need to go wait let me show you this abaya from dubai you see the sparkle this sparkles in the light so much more can you see that oh it's stunning i love it i definitely am in my abaya era well i don't think it's an era it's going to be regular i always love wearing abayas if you haven't there's so many affordable very modern classic sort of abayas because i remember when i was younger abayas didn't look good as they do nowadays like they didn't but now yes i feel modest beautiful and i do feel like i look good as well you know don't even ask me why i look this discombobulated because i will consider it a hate crime this is the most vulnerable i will get on this TV app, the world. Tell me why my brother-in-law told me to get electrolytes. <laughs> the water looks interesting. Don't ask me why I have too much energy. Maybe I stayed up until um Zuhur. Maybe, but don't tell anyone. Anyway, this this electrolyte tablet thing. It tastes like tropical juice, brother. Where's the tropical? Where's the tropical? The tropes isn't tropicaling. That the trop, the tropical isn't tropsing. You know what I mean? It's a bit salty. Alhamdulillah, at least I have water. Oh, that's the important part. I'm not complaining, I'm just saying if you're considering getting these tablets, just know they taste mad salty. Which I which I which I knew kind of but at the same time. What is that behind me? Oh, it's a pillow, I got scared. <gasps> anyway. But uh I'm gonna get ready for a hair appointment that I have. Um, getting ready in my room. So it's a bit of a different setup. I got this gripping primer today. I'm gonna try it and see how it is. It's from MUA. It's quite affordable. Let me check the price for you guys. This is only five pound fifty. I love MUA, they're coming out with so many good things. Okay, I need to not talk too much because I have a tendency to do that. Obviously guys, this is like the most ideal angle, but it is gonna have to do. It is gonna have to do, you know? Illuminator. Using this from MUA, it's their brow gel sculpt. This is not remind you of something and it's only three pound 
95 I can't believe it well, let's see if it's actually good love like using products like this to give my face a lift can you, you can already see the difference here I really like that brush actually £3.95 bargain I need to do a full face of this makeup maybe for Eid that would be a good video like an Eid tutorial I mean let me know if you want that. Here's what gloss I'm gonna wear. Just just a little kiss, yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Yes. Huda's one. I'm wearing it the clear one today. Oh gosh, it's so glossy. She wasn't joking when she said distractingly glossy because yeah. This is such an amazing travel case by the way, you can like carry it as well so I'll try to link it but it's from this brand here. Why should I get in the passenger side? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You're such a mess. So I'm here, I'm here to get my hair done by the way, I don't think I mentioned, oh my gosh, I was so anxious about the parking, but I found parking on the main road, I don't know if I'm the only one that gets anxious because of parking. This is one of my favourite hair salons by the way, they're hijabi girl friendly and they've kindly invited me to give me a glow up, you know, my hair really needs it, so I'll show you how it looks inside once we get there. The reason why I like this place is because like I love the customer service because I've been to other hair salons before and honestly the service was not it and I know you're thinking it's probably because you're an influencer they give you that amazing service but no they I came here before they knew I was like a content creator and they were serving like I love their work if you haven't checked it out definitely check it out I'll, I've come here before and I've never posted about them I've got like a foliage I've got like my hair solidly dyed I've got a car blow dry and they always do an amazing job if you're like South Asian and you have really dark hair as well I think it's they're a really good option because they lift your hair without it make it look brassy and orange because I've been to other places and they've done that so please do check them out Man Hair Salon I'll make sure that I tag them and you can check their work out because it really does speak for itself Moon Hair Salon I said it wrong before and I'm gonna get the smoothing treatment so who do you recommend the smoothing treatment for? it's good for those who have frizzy hair curling hair it's gonna make the hair smooth shiny and more manageable yeah. and it lasts between two to three months so i have like more wavy puffy hair and this is exactly what i need because my hair every time i dry it it just becomes so frizzy and especially if you're like south asian bengali our hair can be like that and it's very hard for us to manage so definitely get the smoothing treatment i recommend it more than the keratin treatment Keratin is more for those who have been in tight curls. Okay. Whereas you've got wavy hair, yeah. so it's better to use treatment. Okay, alright. Okay, I'm excited and obviously I can't, yes, of course. And they do have 20% off on the smoothing treatment and the keratin treatment. So if you're interested, come in. You don't need any discount code, just let them know I want the 20% off and they will do that. Until the end of March. It's until the end of March, yeah come quickly because i know it was going to look amazing i saw a couple of girls do it she could see my hair because she looks beautiful honestly she's my fave my hair salon and take advantage of that discount as well 20 percent off the keratin treatment and the smoothing treatment because yeah my hair looks and feels amazing i do have dyed hair my hair feels a lot more silkier softer even healthier obviously once you get the treatment done you need to wait 48 hours before you put any water or wet the hair and then once you do wash it after the 48 hours they recommend to like blow dry it and then straighten it in again just to lock in that treatment so now i'm going home i'm scared because I'm just thinking how I'm going to U-turn. Maybe I'll go into that side road. 
Uh, this is a problem when I drive. I got anxiety. I got anxiety, girl. I did it. I did the U-turn on some side road. By the way, if you're if you're concerned, I made it. I'm home now, and I'm gonna have some iftar. I feel like I've done a lot in this vlog. Let me know if you want it to be longer, cause it is getting quite long already but before i go make sure you like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next ramadan video